Hi there, and welcome to this video on A-level chemistry for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of an introduction to organic chemistry, and in particular, on isomerism. Hi, I'm Manisha from StudyMind, where we help you to revise A-level chemistry with our helpful revision resources tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, please make sure to click that subscribe button, and whilst you're watching, please leave any comments down below about anything you're unsure of. If it's your first time watching, make sure to let us know so we can send you our free revision resources. We also have helpful timestamps to guide you through the video. Welcome to lesson three of three in this tutorial, covering the topic of isomerism. This is the final video in our series of three lessons on the topic of introduction to organic chemistry. Here are the key learning objectives for today's lesson. First, we'll be looking at structural isomers, then at stereoisomers. We'll then look at drawing various types of isomers and finally at the CIP rules for EZ isomerism. Let's start off by looking at structural isomers. These are molecules with the same molecular formula but differing structural formulae. There are three main types you need to know. These are chain, functional and positional. Chain isomers will have changed carbon chains. For example, one might be pentane but the other might be 2-methylbutane. Functional group isomers have the exact same atoms but are sorted into a changed functional group. For example, we might have but1-ene and cyclobutane. Positional isomers mean that the carbon chain and the attached atoms are exactly the same. However, the functional group will be attached to a different carbon. As we can see here, we have one fluoropropane and two fluoropropane. Stereoisomers are molecules with the same molecular formula but differ in positions in space. These occur because the carbon-carbon double bonds cannot rotate. This means that there are different isomers formed as the position of the groups bonded to the carbons in the double bond cannot be interchanged. One type of stereoisomerism is called EZ isomerism. This occurs in alkenes. Let's look at the two types of isomer separately. The Z isomer has the groups with priority together. These occur either above or below the carbon-carbon double bond. E isomers have the groups with priority together again. This time they are either above or below the carbon-carbon double bond. To draw these forms of isomers, we need to draw the longest chain described in the name of the compound. Then we can number our carbons and add the functional groups to the carbons described in the name. If it's an EZ isomer, we should ensure that the groups are in the correct arrangement across the double bond. Now let's look at the CIP rules. CIP stands for Kahn Ingold Prelog Priority Rules. These are the rules which determine whether a molecule is an E or a Z isomer. Even when the carbon-carbon double bond in a molecule is next to more than two unique groups, it can show EZ isomerism. There are some key rules to remember to work out if a molecule is an E isomer or a Z isomer. 
for single atoms, a higher atomic mass will give a molecule higher priority. For groups of atoms, we have to look at the atom directly bonded to the carbons in the double bond. If these are the same, look down the chain. Whichever carbon is bonded to the atom with the highest atomic mass will have priority. If both the groups are on the same side, then it is a Z isomer. If the groups with the higher priority are on the same side, this means it's a Z isomer, as we've just mentioned. If they are on opposite sides, this means it's an E isomer. We've now completed lesson three. If you liked this video, make sure to catch our latest videos by subscribing down below and leaving a comment on a topic that you'd like to see a video on. Click here to watch more videos on our series of A-level chemistry, or visit our website, studymind.co.uk, for past paper compilations by topic and specification.